Uh, today, nearly after a year after these tragic events, which cost PC Andrew half his life, three men have been given lengthy prison sentences. Henry Long, Albert Bowers and Jesse Cole were convicted at this court last week. Since then, I'm aware that there's been much discussion amongst the media and the public about those verdicts, but today I welcome the judge's sentencing remarks. These were fully reflective of the seriousness of the offence and their culpability. I'm only too aware that no verdict or sentence would ever be enough to bring Andrew Harper back to his family, colleagues or friends. We often talk about the end of legal proceedings bringing closure for a victim's loved ones. I know that that can never be the case for Andrew's family. Today we have some justice for Andrew Harper and those responsible for his death are going to prison. These are three people who I do not believe have ever shown an ounce of genuine remorse or contrition for their actions. They did their best to frustrate the police investigation. Andrew represented the very best in policing, but these men represented self-interest, greed and utter recklessness. I'm proud of all the officers and staff who've worked so hard to secure these convictions for their colleague under incredibly difficult and emotionally draining circumstances. Their exceptional efforts have ensured that these men have been brought to justice. I would also like to thank everyone across Thames Valley Police, the policing family and the policing family for the support they've shown over the past year. It's something that none of us will ever forget. Finally, again I'd like to pay tribute to the incredible courage and dignity shown by Andrew's family who have experienced such trauma and heartache over the last 11 months. They have faced two high profile trials and have had to endure the hear a hearing the most horrific details about Andrew's death played out in public. I can never thank them enough for their bravery and for all their support. Today marks the end of the trial and an end of an ordeal which began on the 15th of August last year. I know for so many people the grieving will continue. We will always remember PC Andrew Harper and we will never forget the, ult the ultimate sacrifice that he has paid for protecting the public from these selfish and reckless criminals. Thank you.